If we are about anything, it's about understanding the implications of technology and culture in the future of our species and our planet. Thinking about how we uh, inhabit this place, Earth, you know, we have to begin to sort of think about these alternative energy uses, and they can actually be part of our lives. We tried to size this to really give you as much detail on a single drawing as possible. Well, it started with, I think, both the clarity and generosity of the New York State Power Authority in offering us the opportunity to build a solar power plant at the campus. The Power Authority had originally envisioned just a large solar field. The university said, well, that's a great concept, but we want to take it and make it unique to the university. We had over 28, what I would say, significant artists worldwide submit. Uh, it came down to three finalists, and what a trio. We should deliver the most efficient power generating system we can. Now, if you can do that and give me an iconic entrance to the campus, we win. There was an imagination at some point that this might be a solar park. There was also the idea that it might be a kind of a sculpture in the landscape. And what Walter brought us was all of that and more. You can have your iconic thing, but it's not going to be a solar park. It's going to be an array down here, but it's doing something to the larger campus. The power produced by the solar strand will be fed back into the university's electrical grid system at the chilled water plant. Once it enters the UB distribution system, it will be consumed at either the chilled water plant, the street lighting loop, or the apartments on campus. But remember, you're going to have that inclined large gathering array panel extending well into this view. Yeah, but it's like 25 feet up. Yeah, it is. And so the idea of a ribbon, the idea of a strand, the idea of DNA identifying yourself within this um, ecological unit became omnipresent to the whole sort of process. You'll come here and you'll see three lines of PV panels running from one end of the site to the other. At the end of the day, you'll have from three feet to 18 feet in height and these sort of are staggered along the site along bands. Buffalo is known for Olmstead parks and parkways and things like that and the idea of melding whether it's green space or parks or traditional architecture with technology is something that's inevitable. Sustainability is also procuring materials locally. The general contractor also solicited and engaged many, many, many local vendors, suppliers, contractors and fabricators. We sell shop hours, and there's a lot of shop hours with this work, and um, the guys really appreciate that. 20 years from now, I can drive by with my grandkids and tell them, I did that. That was uh, me and my company. We built that project, and it's an honor to be a part of it. We're looking at tree planting. We're looking at the social zones that you begin to see carved out here. We're really excited about it not being from fossil fuels, about the emphasis on renewable energy, and also that it'll be accessible to the public, that people can learn about different sources of energy and get involved and get excited about the possibilities. We have to have the courage to know that the conventional modes of production in energy are not going to serve us through the next century. The idea that you would scale something up that could generate 750,000 watts of power and have it also be art, it makes this unique.